setting up. Setting up. Uh, turn off the heater. I almost knocked everything over. Got my Buddy Cruz coffee. Mm hmm. Okay. Looking good. Good morning, Jerry. Don. Good to see you. I'm going to try to be a little quiet, although they're still sleeping, but um, time to wake up soon. Yeah, like us. My collection is growing up here. Getting a few more things. What's up, What's up Tommy? Good to see you. Good morning. <sighs> Thinking about a lot of stuff going on this weekend. And, um, and next week, uh, Tommy, I'll reach out to you uh, uh, after Art Talk to discuss next week. Got a few good things going on this morning. How's everybody? How are you guys feeling? You guys having a good, uh, did you have a good week? Good Friday? Good morning, Greg. What's up, man? Uh, yeah, it's uh, a lot of a lot of cool stuff. I, I, spring is my favorite, my favorite time. It's a, uh, you know, all the colors come out and it's my birthday in that area. Uh, which we'll celebrate at Muscles and Mojo on uh, the 4th, although my birthday's the 3rd. But, uh, uh, you know, if we bring something, you know, everybody gets to celebrate and kind of hang out. Uh, Joe, what's up? Uh, good morning. Welcome to today's Art Talk here on Facebook Live. Uh, hope you had you guys had a chance to see the Peterson thing yesterday. That was pretty fun. Challenging week. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um you know, who doesn't? Who doesn't have a challenging week, Tommy? Yeah, uh, I'm not sure if you're referencing me or you're referencing you, but we all have challenging weeks. And uh, it's uh, it's important that you keep perspective. Good morning, peepsters. What's up, MC? Morning. Uh, really liked the presentation of the Peterson. Awesome, Chris. Thank you. Uh, uh, big thanks, obviously, to uh, Mike Wallen, to uh, Custom Mics and Scott Strickland, uh, for coming out and of course the Peterson Museum uh, Bruce Meyer a uh, very good guy and uh, um, Jasmine who who kind of kept tabs on things as we went through I think that was informative certainly was fun to do and it's kind of opened up uh, some possibilities we actually have another one that we're gonna do on the 29th not the Peterson yeah we're not gonna announce just yet what that is but uh, we are confirmed uh, to um, uh, keep the ball rolling with uh, custom mics, and uh, I can announce today something about him. Um, let me put a note here. Uh, we'll get into that also in just a little bit. Uh, today's uh, subject, tomorrow, first day of spring. Yeah, cool, huh? Um, today's subject, uh, thinking is the cause of everything thinking is the cause. And that what that reveals is that you can't blame anybody for anything. You just can't. Uh, you can understand that their thinking process has got them to where they are, and uh, it's getting you to where you are. So it's best to cultivate a personality where blame and criticism is not present. Good morning. Happy Friday. Uh, Valerie Vasquez, Monique Wood, Got some beautiful ladies in the house. Uh, Peterson Tour loved that place. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. Um, you know, it's interesting with uh, a world-class museum as the Peterson is, uh, they're very cool, very cool people. And they they really understand the car, the car hobby, the car culture. Uh, they're um, uh, TGIF, yes, Greg. <laughs> uh, and the, um, I got some weird thing going on here. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, the, you know, you go to their store, uh, they, they announced, uh, uh, Jasmine announced that they're opening, I think the 27th is the date that they're officially opening, and they're allowing all service people in for free. That's yeah, just really, really cool. I think they really understand that um, uh, car culture is a, uh, a very clear means to an end. And in a way, we're very fortunate. Uh, people that love cars are very fortunate because we get to uh, enjoy these cars, and it does exactly what it is that I'm gonna get into today. Uh, and um, uh, the, today's subject thinking is the cause of everything. And as we understand, as we evolve and grow and, and become more aware of, uh, of how our mind works and how we can um, choose to cultivate things, and it's, it's really cool to have, have something that you're into. Now, uh, other people are into uh, um, 
cooking and gardening and, and lots of other things. And uh, Tommy, uh, Holly certainly a master gardener, or at least a master at uh, uh, botanical contraptions, as they say. Uh, but it's, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's a pretty fulfilling life if you have something that you're passionate about. And uh, uh, we're going to uh, delve into that a little bit once starting up here, down into the depths of the mind. Uh, but before we do, let's do, uh, let's do some, um, some updates and we'll get into today's subject. Uh, a few things going on. I'm excited about tonight because uh, Disney is premiering uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Uh, so I'm going to look at that new series. Uh, I like those series because they're very movie-like and um, uh, they, uh, they, 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 pull out all the stops. They, you know, they, they are shooting these series, uh, uh, Mandalorian and the show that my son is on right now. Um, my stepson, Sean, he's on, uh, um, Obi-Wan Kenobi and they're filming that, you know, locally here in LA and, uh, the quality is just amazing. It's, you know, it's, uh, I think the trend is going to be out of theaters and into the homes. I can't see that. I can't see going back to theaters. So, um, uh, just in the way people are living their lives and, and the introduction to a new form of, uh, of um, entertainment delivery, and which is our phones and things like that. So I'm excited about that. Uh, tomorrow on uh, Superfly's uh, Instagram page, uh, they're going to be interviewing Spike Ferriston, uh, which I think is going to be fun because uh, the whole reason for that is we're doing our book with Spike, and it would be nice to to hear some of his history. So I hope you guys will enjoy that. I think that's going to be at 10 a.m. tomorrow on uh, uh, Superfly's Facebook page. No, sorry, Instagram page. So uh, Don, not Don, uh, Carmen or Tony, if you're watching, uh, uh, be sure to post a link to your Instagram page so that people know where to go. But basically go to Superfly Autos on Instagram and you can watch a, a live broadcast of their coffee talk show and they're going to interview Spike, a uh, super cool guy, and uh, we're currently doing a book with him. So um, it's interesting. You'll be able to, to hear some of his stories, his Hollywood stories. Last night, my brother was on, um, Ethan was on a Night Dreams talk radio. Uh, uh, check that out also. Uh, very informative, interesting journey that he's had as a writer in Hollywood and uh, as he continues to have. And uh, Dee, his wife, and uh, some of the great successes and trials and tribulations of their journey. So uh, it's good to hear that kind of stuff. It's good to hear what people have been through. Gives you some perspective as to maybe what you're going through and how you can, um, uh, you know, kind of out the other side and feel good about uh, the way things are going. Um, uh, uh, first announcement, we're, we're going to be doing... Uh, doggy's trying to sneak in. Mm -mm. We're going to be doing a, uh, a custom Mike's coloring book. I uh, had a long conversation with Mike yesterday and uh, I'm very excited about this because it's it's going to be, once again, custom cars, uh, you know, um, unique stuff that Mike and his team have built over the years. Uh, this book right now is slated for January of 2022. We're fully booked all the way through February at this point. It keeps growing. So uh, 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 right now, if there's a way that we can move it up, uh, we will, but we are in the in the throes of uh, Spike's book, uh, Magnus Walker, Frank Stevenson, um, and uh, a whole host of other things. So we're, we're going to be getting into that. I do have a major announcement uh, regarding Art Talk, uh, and, uh, uh, and that is simply that we're going to be migrating out of this personal page because this personal page is limited to 5,000 people, and I'm getting uh, more friend requests than I can handle at the moment, and I, and I can't fit these people in. So they're just kind of sitting in line waiting for people to bugger out and then fit them in. So we're gonna actually going to move all this content, everything that I'm doing here on the personal page, we're going to be moving over to the Fireball Tim Lawrence page. Okay? I currently have four, four pages. The personal page, which you're watching right now, Fireball Tim Lawrence, which is the fan page, uh, Fireball Coloring Books, which are our business page, and then our custom car group which you can join and hang out if you want. We just post cool cars there. So you can you can go to those pages, but this page, uh, this this personal page, I'm going to be deleting, not deleting, but I'm not going to be active on this page anymore as of Monday. And we're going to be doing live directly from Fireball Tim Lawrence instead uh, because there's no limit on that page. It has about 7,800 followers at the moment. We're going to be growing that um, with the help of uh, a lot of our partnerships. And... Uh, Got water on my nose. 
can't take me anywhere. <laughs> uh, so that's, I'll, I'll be reminding you guys uh, throughout the weekend and stuff. And, and so if you're watching this, maybe watching this a little bit later uh, and you want to come hang out with us, um, I apologize to those who have not been able to get into this particular page. Just order the custom car car book. Uh, thank you, Joe. Uh, at, um, Hope for Pause thanks you. 10% uh, of proceeds goes to those guys. I uh, hope you'll send in some uh, coloring to us. Yeah, it'd be kind of cool. We can post that stuff. So um, uh, today's subject, thinking is the cause of everything. We're going to get into that in just a minute. There's a few other things I want to go over that uh, are pretty fun. Well, obviously, the, today we're, we're swapping the, the Sierra Denali, uh, the world's largest vehicular contraption, one of the biggest ones. Uh, and we're switching that for the uh, um, uh, Dodge is sending us the Durango SRT Hellcat. Uh, so that's going to be kind of fun. And we'll we'll piddle around in that thing. And a uh, big thanks to Custom Mike's. Uh, he hooked me up with this great beanie. I think uh, maybe the, these are available on his website also. Custom Mike's right there. And it says photography, fun photography and film. Uh, really cool. Keep my noggin warm. I'm not that cold today, but uh, uh, I'll be wearing that. Very fun. Uh, thank you, Mike, for that. I really appreciate that. And your time yesterday at the Peterson, you and Scott, uh, um, you guys have your head screwed on really well when it comes to uh, uh, the um, uh, connecting with car culture and understanding the uh, the power of giving. Uh, these guys really, really get it. So, and it makes sense, you know, they have a, a very large audience and they're doing a great service for them. And this is kind of what we talked about yesterday in uh, in yesterday's Art Talk. So you can go back to that and, and watch that. That's still available. Uh, we're also gonna be um, uh, starting, hopefully, to post these uh, back on YouTube so that you guys can uh, can watch them in perpetuity. I always like that word. <laughs> uh, what else we got? Uh, Abigail's here. She's sleeping. Uh, she might be waking up soon. Today's candy. Sugar daddies. Remember sugar daddies? Yeah. And bit of honey. The two, the two candies that um, you know when they say you know you shouldn't eat candy because it destroys your teeth. They're probably right, but these actually do. Yeah, you take a bite of these things and and pop goes the weasel. Uh, things just start flying out. And uh, if you have any enemies in the world, um, when you go to a meeting, like you're going to do a drug swap or you're going to do a swap for a car or something like that, whatever it is that you're gonna, you guys are going to do, um, be sure to include some of these because they'll be so distracted for the deal because their teeth will be like flying out of their face that you'll, you know, you'll, you'll, You'll be a <laughs> denture killers, exactly, Tina. Uh, denture and bad guy killers. Yeah, so uh, very effective. A uh, couple of die casts. This one I picked up. This is a uh, another food truck. Um, they keep doing these over and over, and I keep buying them. Yeah, it's just that, um, you know, every one of these is uh, is pretty cool. This one's a New Year's fireworks, you know, so they're selling fireworks, 2021. Um, they keep recasting, I mean, not recasting, taking this cast and repainting different schemes on them. And they're all fun. And they're all going up to the Murphys. So um, you guys will be able to see some of those on uh, April 4th. Also, they keep doing the uh, uh, the Christmas car. This is the Christmas sled. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that says 1225. Now, I don't know what that means because uh, it's not the year 1225. This is Xmas Delivery 2020. Yeah, but then it's got 1225 on the hood. Anybody know what that means? Anybody who's uh, picked up this sled, um, they've done a few uh, different paint schemes for this one. Red Santa, kind of flying around, his butt's going up and down. But I'm not really sure. I think actually, as it rolls, oh, it does. As it rolls, it uh, his butt pops. I'm not really sure what that, the point of that. Anyway, 1225, I don't know what that means. So uh, it's a mystery. Uh, find out, let me know. Uh, Christmas day is 1225. Oh my God, that's what it is. Nice Don. Nice I'm thinking 1225 is like the year, right? And like I went to England and I went to Castle 1066. And I'm thinking, that's what, why is it 1225? Yeah, it's December 25th. I wouldn't have done that. I would have put a little a little thing in between the two numbers to make it a little clearer for idiots like me. <laughs> it's so great that this is live. Yeah, mm-hmm. What are you going to do? Um... Uh, okay, uh, today's book of the day is from uh, Eric Butterworth, uh, The Concentric Perspective, another good book, uh, massive read. I'm giving you guys huge amounts of homework in these tiny little books. Uh, that's a, This is a pretty good one. Yeah, uh, Eric Butterworth has had a lot of really good uh, books over the years. This is not too old. There he is there. I don't think he's around anymore. Um, 
He's checked out and gone to the great uh, book publishing company in the sky, 1989. Not that old. Uh, it's worth it. You know, you can find it for any any of these books. You can find for less than ten bucks. You know, you can't you can't lose. You can't lose. They're pretty spectacular. Uh, and let's see, uh, what did I miss? Um, Spike sketch. Uh, uh, this is the last thing. So, you know, Spike has sent me a lot of cars, a few bikes, and we're we're talking about that. But this is a 1962 um, Aston Martin Zagato, quite a beautiful car. And I had to think about how, what kind of environment. So I, I decided to create a a castle. You know, a little castle scene, and then the car is sitting in the castle scene. But ready for the surprise? The castles are actually spaceships. Spaceship castles. <laughs> Launching. Yeah. Little hidden thing. There's gonna be some few few things and uh, fun things in the in the front that we'll get into. Uh, so uh, that's what I'm working on today. And uh, it's you know it's nice it's, it's nice to to work before art talk, and then I get really excited about about finishing it up. Many times I don't finish a sketch uh, during the day. Got too many other things that are going on, and uh, and then the next morning I'm just really excited. There's something about that. You know, it's like you didn't finish gardening and you, you're really into it. You didn't finish um, uh, doing, you know, washing your car or some, or some kind of creative means. And you kind of can't wait to get back to it, you know. And uh, uh, it, it, there's a sense of completion. Now, let's get into today's uh, subject. Thinking is the cause of everything. And and it leads it leads kind of to this, the point of this. Now, we spent a, a, really, a really good time at the Peterson Museum. And I'm very grateful that you guys... Uh, had a chance to watch and hang out, uh, even if you hung out for a few minutes. Uh, we have a little over 11,000 views on it, and it's it's still growing. Uh, and, and what's nice about that is that uh, there's a lot of messages within uh, within a video like that that, that goes on live. And uh, it's really important that, that we take uh, not only responsibility, we take the opportunities in creating content, whether it's posting a picture or a uh, uh, you know, something that's going on in the world. Uh, it amazes me how consistently every day some people uh, that I know uh, post consistently uh, negativity. They don't necessarily understand. They feel like they're a champion for a cause or um, they want to share certain things, but they don't understand that since thinking is the cause of everything, that they're putting things out into the world that are causing people to think about things that are destructive and negative and very bad. Now that I'm not saying that you know there's there's right now there seems to be a trend in uh, uh, Asian racism. You know this is not new people. This is you know this is something that's been going on. Racism uh, across the board for every color is in every gender and everything else is 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 uh, has been present forever. This is not something that's fresh. Uh, so it's just something that the that the news kind of gloms on, and like there's a story. Oh, let's take this, and pretty soon when the Asians are over, it's going to be um, Middle Easterns. You know, when the Middle Easterns are over, it's going to be can well, it's never going to be Canadians. Yeah, because as everybody loves the Canadians and the Swiss, right? Because they Swiss makes chocolate. Canadians are they're just, just nice people. They're just kind of cool people. So nobody you know uh, hammers those guys too much. But anyway, you know, here in America, we, we do a really good job at, at uh, criticizing people that aren't like us and who live in different towns or, or are shorter or fatter or smaller or taller or skinnier. Or, you know, whatever it is that you want to pick on, right? Uh, bullying is not something that is new. It's something that's ever-present. And it's not going to go away. This is, we're not going to have a planet that's a utopia where everybody is happy about everything. It's just not... I, I don't believe that that's humanity. Now, it's not important that... That we uh, that we put all this stuff out into the world. What's important is the way we address these issues, right? And I'm going through stuff this week that that is forcing. It's really challenging me to keep my uh, my mental capacity straight. And this is something that we all have to deal with. It's like you have a great, really great week where you didn't get challenged too much, and then you got a week where it's like, wow, like it just keeps rolling in, keeps rolling in. Now it's funny because I just the other day I was, I was driving up to the museum and. Pretty much the whole day, the whole day, I was getting behind semi trucks. I even got stuck in a funeral procession for a period of time, for about fifteen minutes, and I just could not get to where I was going. And it was frustrating. It was frustrating. And I realized uh, that I was feeling frustrated, and I I just kept on. It, I, it was really hard to get out of that mode. 
Uh, and as a result, it lasted the whole day, all the way until I got home. And I kind of acknowledged it, had a conversation with Kathy, and she's got a really great perspective about this stuff. And um, uh, it, uh, it, it's revealed to you that uh, these things don't happen to you. This wasn't happening to me. Uh, I was causing this to happen. I was causing through my frustration, through my, you know, whatever I was feeling at the moment in the morning. Uh, it was a challenging morning. And um, uh, I just kept on permeating this, this vibration and I kept on getting the results, right? I'm going to turn on the heater for a second. And uh, so, you know, by no means are we perfect. Are we going to uh, hit a home run every day where we just have, you know, every day is an also, oh, but this is such a great life. You know, it's just not, it's not, not every day is like that. Uh, every day you, you get a, a series of tests to overcome, right? That's, that's, that's the deal. As a creative person, which we all are as human beings, our job is to be creative. Our job is not to live our lives. Our job is to create. That's, that's what we do. That's why we have opposable thumbs. That's why we have the mind that we have. That's why we can uh, go out and buy glasses so we can all see clearly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever the tools that you need, but our job is to create, not to do, not to just kind of hang out. Uh, and this is what I want you guys to, um, to cultivate daily, to be a badass about this, is you can't do it a little. You can, but you're just going to get a little and you're going to be complaining as to why your life is going by so fast and you're missing out on all the, the great stuff, amazing stuff, insane stuff, right? That's why I'm, I say yes to, to almost everything I can think of, right? Uh, so, you know, when, when the idea after the Peterson on the way back, I was talking to MC and we, we said, hey, you know, we, we should do this next. Uh, I wasn't going to delay. I wasn't going to wait a half a second. Uh, I called up David Neal at the Murphy. I called up, uh, and he made a call, and, and within five minutes, we were booked for the, for the 29th, and we're going to go do it again with Custom Mike and Scott, uh, MC, and, and uh, David, and we're, we're going to tour something else for you guys so that you guys can get a, uh, a really great experience with some of these places that aren't necessarily available to you uh, or, or that they're available but just not in the way Battery's going dead. Should be all fine. Should be okay. Um, so it, it's important that uh, that we try to find ways to do that, to, to give through creative means. Now, uh, the the goal of thinking and understanding that the that thinking is the cause of everything is that we want to connect with the ideology of, of, of expansion. We want to connect our mind in a, such a way that it expands and it grows, not shrinks and contracts. And many people think in that way. They think through thoughts of fear and anxiety and they contract and they shrink in the same way that, that anything that's afraid would do that, fight or flight, right? Is that you explode out to get away or you contract and shrink. And connecting to that is not about expanding your life and making your life in, in, a, um, uh, uh, in a way that, uh, that can affect people. Uh, in a in a positive way and affect your own life in a positive way, but we want to connect through through expansion. You know, creative awareness um, is is like being in creative mode. So you know, if you're 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 aware that creativity is the answer, then you got to put yourself in creative mode. You got to get busy. You got to get shit done. You got to get active, right? But it starts with the thought. Then it's reaffirmed by the words, the words you speak to yourself, the words you speak to others. Can I do this? Am I going to do this? Let's do this. And then getting busy, right? Okay, but um, when you're in fear, you're not in creative mode. Now, this is kind of the way it breaks down. Fear is something that connects us to the past and it connects us to the future connects us to the future by saying, what's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. It, it could be bad. We think about all the reasons, all the things that could could fall apart. And so it keeps us in fear because we're, we're, we're connecting ourselves to the future. In the past, did I do the right thing? Shouldn't I, should have I said that? Uh, I feel bad that I did that. I, you know, I feel guilty for all the things that I've done. And, you know, you, you connect yourself to the past. Fear cannot exist in the present. You feel fear in the present, but because you're thinking about either the past or the future. You're not thinking in present mode. And in present mode is the only place where creativity exists. You can't be creative tomorrow. You can't be creative yesterday. You can only be creative now, in this moment. 
So the goal is to maintain that. The goal is to get into creative mode and stay there as often as you can. Now that could be creating a business plan. That could be creating uh, a piece of clothing. It could be creating uh, glasses. This is why Etsy is exploding because people are going into creative mode and they're selling everything that you can possibly imagine through creative means. That's why the Etsy is so incredibly powerful is that it's allowing every single person on the planet to have a brick and mortar store. And the store can be tiny, little tiny store with one thing, or it can be expansive and have 30,000 products. You can have anything you want. This is why Amazon is trading for, you know, $3,500 or whatever it's trading at. It's because it, you're in creative mode. You're buying things to expand and enhance your life in some way. Whether it's a, um, a turquoise top, as some people have purchased recently, or it's a, um, uh, it's a Hot Wheels car for one of my cases, right? You know, whatever it is, um, yeah, sure, it costs money. But, you know, I'm not going to give that shit away for free. Uh, you know, but but the, the point isn't that you can buy something so you can have it. The point is to buy something to add to your expansion. You have to look at things from the deepest level or the highest level. Not from the superficial level, which is where most people are. I want to buy those gold shoes because I want everyone to think I'm awesome. Right? That's the superficial level. And you, you're constantly chasing that. You're never going to get that. That's never going to fulfill you. Because you're fulfilling from the outside in as opposed to from the inside out. Because fulfillment, true fulfillment, doesn't cost a cent. It doesn't cost anything. So keep that in mind. You know, creativity is in the present. If you're, if you're depressed, you're having a, a hard time with something, uh, you're being attracted towards an addiction or something that, that's constantly haunting you, the answer isn't in trying not to, to, trying to hold that thing back. You're having trouble with alcohol or drugs or, or sex or any of the things that are difficult for you. Food, uh, bad people, you know, whatever it is that, that you have a connection to. The way out of that is through creative means. The way out of that is to get busy building. Building something. It could be building a burger. And even if it's a 15-minute time that you can be creative, it will begin to attract more creative means. Okay? It's important to take the first step. The next will be revealed. Don't worry about changing your whole life. Just put yourself in the present, in creative mode, building a car. That's why I like driving. So I love driving, but I don't like driving just for the sake of driving. I want to know that where I'm going, I'm, it's an adventure. It's taking me there. And I've, I'm looking for ways to be able to share that with you guys, which is why we post uh, pictures of Kathy and I driving around in these cars and stuff. I get to share that with you. So that gets to extend. I get to do the drive and go do the thing. Then I get to come back with all the photos. And then I get to process all those things. And I get to share those things. And then you guys get to experience that. And that's, that's a process for me. That's a mental process in giving that allows me to stay in creativity, stay in creative mode. I get to draw. I get to do all these things. I don't do these things. I don't have to do them. I get to do them. I mean, given this gift, I have the gift of being able to express myself through the drawings and through art talk and things like that. You guys have to find yours. And you got to do that today. And you start through creative means like taking out the trash. You know, wash the trash cans. Paint the trash cans. Do, do something creative. Don't tell me you don't have enough time. Don't tell me you're, you're busy all day and of all this baloney, right? Yeah, you're busy. You're busy, you know, getting busy in the wrong direction. Okay? So get busy today. Get creative. If you don't know what to do, go take out the trash. Go vacuum. Go uh, dust your office. You know, go pet your dog. You know, get busy. Move. Okay? All right, so cultivate the present through cooking, through gardening, through painting, through photography, through building your car, building your bike, building your birdhouse, uh, inventing things. We are all creative. That's our job. You are creative. Don't tell me that you're not. People, people have come up to me and say, I don't have a creative bone in my body. That's an unfortunate thought process because all they're doing is inhibiting their ability to create. They don't understand that they are a creative being. Their purpose on earth is to create. That's what I got for you today. 
here on Art Talk. Um, you know, I appreciate that you guys watch, but a uh, big announcement. We're not going to be doing Art Talk from this page after today. It's going to be the weekend, so we're not doing Art Talk at all. But starting Monday, it's going to be coming out of the Fireball Tim Lawrence page, which has no limit. Uh, you can go over there right now. You can like the page if you haven't. Uh, but this page will be non-active, uh, this um, personal page, and we're going to start building the fan page. Uh, I will still interact with you guys. It'll still be exactly the same. It's not like anything really different. Uh, use deep breathing techniques to help relieve your, yourself of stressful situations. Absolutely. Oxygen is good. Always helps. You know, shortness of breath, all that kind of stuff. So uh, um, do what you can this weekend. You know, you can do a lot. You can do a lot today. Okay? So uh, uh, I, will, uh, I will let you guys know. And be sure also um, tomorrow to watch uh, the Spike Ferriston interview with Superfly Autos. I think it's at 10 a.m. Uh, go check on their, their Instagram page, uh, their Coffee Talk Live. Uh, they're going to do that. It should be really, uh, really fun. It's going to be a listen to that. And have a, just a freaking spectacular weekend. Uh, share this if it's something that you think is valuable. Uh, again, big thanks to Custom Mike and to... Um, uh, Scott Strickland for joining us at the Peterson uh, and MC Ken Vela. We're going to be doing it again very soon on the 29th. I'm going to reveal next week where that is. Talk to you guys soon.